You're listening to the Platte River Bard. Into the Woods is a 1987 musical with music and lyrics written by the legendary Stephen Sondheim and book by James Lapine. This would be the second work Sondheim and Lapine would do together, as they had previously collaborated on Sunday in the Park. Their last work together would be the Broadway Review, Sondheim on Sondheim, in 2010. In 1986, this play debuted at the Globe Theater in San Diego, and the following year, in 1987, it premiered on Broadway. It has won three major Tony Awards, even in a year that was being dominated by Phantom of the Opera. It has had a 1988 U.S. National Tour, a 1990 West End production in the U.K., a 1997 10th Anniversary Concert, a 2002 Broadway Revival, and a 2010 London Revival. It has also had a film adaptation by Disney in 2014, which received three nominations at the Academy Awards and three nominations at the Golden Globe Awards. Into the Woods covers multiple themes, growing up, parents and children relationships, accepting responsibility, morality, and finally, what the consequences are when one finally gets what they wish for the most. Join our conversation with Mackenzie Zelke, director of Into the Woods at Chanticleer Theater at the Potawatomi Arts, Culture, and Entertainment Center. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Platte River Bard. This is Chris Berger. And I'm Sherry Berger. And we are here today with Mackenzie Zelke. She is Yay. the director of Pace Chanticleer. They're putting on Into the Woods. She's directing the whole thing, and she's come here to talk to us Yay. about it. Haven't seen you in a while, Mackenzie. Good to see you. It's been far too long, it's Mr. A, Berger. It's been a long time. <laughs> Since the pandemic, you guys did a little, uh, a little I think play was together. A, was the last time we saw each other, yeah. Mamma Mia, right before no, the pandemic? No, no it was the uh, Fringe Fest show that we did Fringe. together. Remember? That's yes. right. Fringe was after yeah. that. Yeah. Fringe was after that. Yeah. I was thinking mm-hmm. Fringe was before that. No, Fringe was after that. I still think yeah. the pandemic was 10 years ago. I know. <laughs> That's why I was it's thinking. It's lasted at least 10 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. But we're oh, coming God. out of it and people are are able to go to theater and feel comfortable again. And Finally. so this is an exciting time. Yes. And you got a chance to to direct Into the Woods. And yes, you're this back gonna directing. It's going to be so it's, much fun. It's been a while. I know. I have to pinch myself sometimes because I it doesn't feel real. Yeah. <laughs> to just to be back and, yeah. To be back, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been like five years, I think, since I've directed a fully staged production, not counting, you know, other little things that I've been doing. So, yeah, this yeah. was sure. like a, a big, a big wake up call for me to remind myself, oh, yeah, this is a lot of moving pieces yeah. to, to work out. But it's been a great experience. I've really enjoyed working with the Chanticleer. So oh, that's feel pretty great. lucky. Yeah. So I'll say, yeah. is this your first time uh, working with uh, the Chanticleer Pace uh, situation up there? Yeah, this is my first time um, directing at any community theater in Omaha. Okay. So I directed academic theater for 10 years, and then I lived in Kansas City, and I was a vocal director and music director more there. So this is my okay. first community production in Omaha that I've gotten to direct. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, I forgot you were from Kansas City. So yeah, I I, I knew that because Chris was, but I, for, I had forgotten yes. you were both from Kansas City. That's where we met the first time and didn't... I didn't quite realize it until really? we met oh. two more times. I didn't know that you guys met in Kansas City. Yes, and then we met again at the Playhouse, and then we mm. met again oh. at Part, and she reminded me yeah. that we had met in Kansas City, and I, she always looked familiar at the Playhouse. I'm like, ah, I guess I just saw her around. That's why she looks familiar. Where in Kansas City? <gasps> Jolly Rogers. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm yes. a super fan. That's awesome. And, and as Love soon the as Jolly she Rogers. reminded That's me that she awesome. had come out, I was like, oh, yes, you did with a bunch of your friends. And yes. Yay. And I it's do true. remember that. Yes. <laughs> Who'd have thought you guys would be doing theater and I was together. like, That's why you look familiar. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I Crazy. Could, I know. And it's weird because uh, 
it's so, it's so weird because I think some of you were dressed up as well and we were dressed up and you take us yep. all out of that environment and that context. And I, mm-hmm. yeah, I have a hard time recognizing anybody. I didn't recognize you no. when I saw you at Mama Mia rehearsals. Yeah. And then I, I like had to stalk you on Facebook and I was like, oh my gosh, he's a Jolly Roger. Yeah. What? <laughs> and then I had to like geek out over it <laughs> later. So <laughs> He's a chameleon. I always tell him he'd make a good criminal. But yeah, no. <laughs> it's true. All he has to do is just change anymore, his hair and shave yes. and he, yes. he, like, I'd who be, is that person? I'd be an old timey <laughs> criminal. I'd be better old timey. <laughs> But so, yes. Yes. so you were doing music in Kansas City then? Yes. Who were you, working, yeah. who were you working with in Kansas City? I never oh, asked. Oh, man. Uh, so I worked with Jerry Van Horn. Oh, okay. Um, I, I was at the on the board at the Leewood Stage Company. Oh. So I was, um, okay. I was on the artistic committee there for a while. Um, I worked with Guy Gardner a little bit. Um, and then like before that, I worked for the Lyric Opera. Oh, so nice. I was an education uh, associate there. So I made a lot of contacts. And so then it was a nice progression going from working for the Lyric Opera where I was, you know, managing those programs mm-hmm. to coming into the, the theater world and working with directors there. So yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, oh. my like background is very eclectic yeah. when it comes to oh, that's nice, though. You've done a lot of children's classes as well, I know. Yeah. yeah. OCP. Exactly. For sure. What yeah, a, what a Gopper great... was the first place I saw Sweeney Todd back in the 80s, actually. Oh, my gosh. Was yeah. Was Lyric way mm. back in the 80s. Yeah, wait. Yeah, that, that was a long time ago. It was. It not is, that long. It is. Not I, that long. I know. Not that long. Not that long. <laughs> <laughs> it still feels like it was only 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, only twenty years. I, I th- yeah, I know. I think people born in the last century. I think we get stuck around two thousand, and when we're thinking about we do. stuff, and yeah. it's like, oh, that was like yeah. twenty. No, that's actually forty years. ago Nineteen ninety <laughs> was only a decade ago. Let's be I real. Know, I know, and I know. it should be easier to do the math. Too. <laughs> so bad, but it's not. It's so bad. It's not. But that prepped you. I mean, all of that has really prepped you really well for yes. this. You know, for this kind of production because it's. It's a heavy lift. It's, there's a lot going on there's on stage. A lot going on. You've got a big cast. It's a big, big, a big show to take mm-hmm. on. First time back in five years there. Yeah, lady. I know. So how did you prepare? I, yeah, that was poor planning on my part. Huh? <laughs> well, is this? I mean, it's obviously a show that you really like, and you've probably seen a few times. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Into the Woods was one of those shows that when I was in high school really got me interested in theater. It was actually mm. um, a show that I did in uh, did in high school. So I was in Into the Woods cool. in 2003 in high school, and then I actually directed a college production of it in 2011. Um, so this is my third time being a part of the production, and um, I've been able to use a lot of what I've learned from being involved with other productions and also just my love of the show in general. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think I've listened to those cast recordings like <laughs> sure, probably a yeah. hundred times. Oh, yeah. Um, and just seeing a lot of different productions around town. I mean, it's one of the most beloved Sondheim yeah. shows. Really I think is. it resonates really well with people. Yeah. Um, it resonates well with kids and families. And yes. you start to see different things in it as you get older. So it, it really has a wide appeal and um so when you're directing it it feels um for me kind of like revisiting an old friend that mm-hmm. I get to come sure. back and learn more about and mm-hmm. share more of myself with wow and I I was actually really interested in the Sondheim interviews that he did for Into the Woods and I thought gosh if they would just yeah. do that for every production how Those were really great how I mean I was just completely I had to watch the whole thing That's like I was like where's the next one I gotta go find yeah. it so he mm-hmm. really did some some great interviews that really prepped people to be able to to produce it yeah yeah, yeah they did that whole series it was mm-hmm. really nice it um, was we watched it it was and that's pretty cool because you got to riveted. direct it in college you said So this is your second time around as a director, which is actually got to kind of be pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I have definitely learned a lot um, because that's obviously over 10 years ago that I worked on it last time. And the world has changed a lot. And I personally changed a lot Sure. and, um, you know, gone through a lot of different um, life experiences. And this show has so many themes about um, what is your journey like and what are the things that are going to shape you and who are the people that you need along the way to help you and what lessons are you learning? And I feel like personally, I have 
gained a lot of those things <laughs> sure. in the 10 years since sure. since being a part of the show before. Wow. Absolutely. Fun. Well, you've got a great cast. Yeah, it looks I have like a great it. cast. Yes. yes. And shout out to Ross at this point. Yes. We know him. We know him on that. We'll, sh- <laughs> we'll give him a shout Ross. out. Shout out, shout to, out Ross. to Ross. Oh, my gosh. Yay. And and how yeah. did that casting go? What was like what some of the things that you really wanted to make sure did you get a good that, turnout? that you that you got? Oh man. Yeah. So we had over 80 people audition wow. for Into the Woods, oh. which like that it's like a 20-ish person cast. Mm-hmm. Um and so having 80 fantastic people yeah. to um, to choose from was unreal. I like I couldn't. I I looked at the list because it didn't feel like that many when I was listening to everybody and connecting with them while they were singing. But then when I looked at the list and I I almost had to like take a breath because I just couldn't believe that we had seen that many people. Yeah. And it was really really hard to make decisions about who was going to be in this cast. But there were a couple things that really guided the team, um, myself and um, David and Jason, who are the music director and the choreographer. Um, you know, we really worked as a team to, to get this cast. And cool. we were really focused on making sure that um, the show and um, the diversity and the inclusivity of the, of the casting reflected our community because we are a very diverse community. Absolutely. So we wanted to make sure that the production reflected that. So that was cool. a big guiding star for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other thing is when we were calling people back and having them read and sing is we really wanted to see how, what of themselves they would bring to the characters because I personally have always felt like this show can feel campy it can feel kitschy um and I say that knowing that I've directed that production before sure um and this time around I wanted the show to feel really grounded I mean these are these are real people going through real things and I wanted to see that in the actors and so when we had them sing and had them read that's what I was looking for do these people feel real to me yeah do they feel they don't feel like caricatures they feel like someone who is going through something or or somebody that I know or someone that I could mm-hmm. talk to and they aren't just this caricature of a fairy tale character yeah oh fun. so so for total noobs who haven't seen it, that, yeah, that that cool. would be me. Oh, I, 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 I watch I've the Sondheim stuff. I've seen it. I, I won't I, hold I it against you. Uh, it's okay. I've I've never seen it. I'm bad. And, uh, or, well, you or, will now, sir. Or, or or even the movie. I, it's just it, it's one of those things that got by me. I know it involves fairy tale stuff. Yes. Yes. What is the general story? of Into the Woods for people like me that are not exactly sure what it's about. (laughs) Absolutely. So it is the tale of um, well-known fairy tale characters. Um, Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, Jack. There's the iconic sort of witch character. There's a wolf. Um, But it follows actually the story of this baker and his wife who have not yet been able to conceive a child and they find out that it's because a witch has placed a curse on them. Okay. So she challenges them to go into the woods to find items for a spell that will lift this curse on them. Okay. And along their way, they meet these these iconic characters, Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, Jack, and the Beanstalk. Um, and they help them on their quest to break this curse. Okay. And um, then we sort of get to see not just them sort of getting their wish – but what happens afterwards? What happens after you get your wish? Because I feel like so many times the fairy tales end yes. when we get the thing that we've been searching for. And it mm-hmm. doesn't really matter what we had to do to get it. We get it. End of story. But there's so much more to those stories, right? Mm-hmm. Think about things in our own lives. Like it's not just, okay, I got the job or, okay, I found this person who loves me. Or, you know, there's so much more that happens right. after that. There is no finish And line. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's so much more beyond. And yeah. I think that... They do a great, this show does a great job of showing you what happens after you get your wish. Yeah. If, That's neat. I like that. I like that quite a bit. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for fairy tale stuff and, and, and using them in a modern way and reimagining stuff. And, uh, because there's, there's so much good stuff there and uh, they're more oh, yeah. than just kids stories. And, uh, and I think a lot of us are realizing that. So I just love it. I, I, I love the whole concept. So 
I will definitely have to see this one. <laughs> so I'll see you there. <laughs> yes, I will have to see this one. Who? Oh, uh, who's uh, who's Ross? I got to know who, who who Ross is. So, so he's. I, <laughs> uh, I know who he is. He's, I'll let him tell he's you. He's Cinderella's <laughs> prince. So he's. Ah. He's very charming. He's a very oh, charming young man. He, uh, he and, is. Uh, he, he does an excellent there. job. He makes me laugh and swoon oh, in yeah. the same he's, rehearsal. So he's fantastic. He's wonderful he has, actor. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful a singer. Hell yeah. of a voice. Yeah. He does. Oh, yeah. Good Lord. He does. Oh, we're so excited for you guys. Mm. Thank you for, for taking the time and talking to us about this. But I think this is such a great opportunity for everyone involved. Absolutely. And such a fun oh. show, too. So, yeah. And I, and I know you probably have a lot of props and you have a lot of set design oh, yeah. that you still had to figure out as <laughs> I well. I say, uh, you're probably still in the middle of that, mm -hmm. figuring out there's a lot Yeah, to it. we are. But, you know, when you have a great team, it doesn't feel as daunting as it could. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I feel really blessed. I have a really incredible team there at the Chanticleer. And the, the theater management is so supportive of everything that I'm doing and, you know, wanting to put up on that stage. So I think it would be a lot harder if I didn't feel like I have that support. But I do feel like I have that support. That's so cool. that's cool. Um, yeah, a very complicated thing has seemed not as complicated. Oh, that's great. Nice. Well, I'm really happy for you guys, and I wish you guys yes. all the best, all breaking of all the legs. Yes, indeed. Um, now, oh, this is coming you. up here pretty soon. This is coming up uh, Into the Woods is going to be March 10th through the 12th and the 17th through the 19th. Yep. And that's going to be at Pace Chanticleer. Yeah. Directed by Mackenzie Selke. At the Hop Center. Yay. Our Yay. friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Aww. I'm so glad that you get to add this to the list of things that you've, yes. you've been able to do and, and done so many great things here in the Omaha and Council Bluffs area. Yes. I mean, so I'm excited Thank for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> that. No, I'm really like excited to, to share this with everybody. It's been a, it's been sure. a ride so far and, we're not even close to being done. So. Oh, you'll get it. I know you will. <laughs> yes. Well, I am I am super happy for you, man. I'm glad you are jumping back into it, and especially with something that um, you're uh, obviously very passionate about. This has been a long time, you know, sort of revisiting of this project for you, and it's mm -hmm. nice to see you're yeah. able to revisit it again at a different part of your life, and you can bring something different to it. Again, I, I, I like that. I think that's cool, especially with a with a project that you do kind of hold close in certain ways and mm -hmm. just keeps popping back up. Well, and it's it's such a classic, you know, yeah. it, it is done. I mean, it's usually yeah, done it's once or twice so a year in the area. Great. And so <laughs> that that's a certain expectation. Do it really well. Yes. And, but how how can you do it with your take on it? I know. Yeah. And then, and you know, and you go 10 years, 12 years, and you're like, man, I'd like to circle back around to that again. You know what I mean? Just cut. Yeah. Pretty much. If, if it's something, Pretty much. something that you love, you always want to go, well, I would do it this way this time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fortunately, I have the the absolute perfect cast to like that is awesome. do that this time. I well, God, I can't even believe this cast. It sounds like you had an embarrassment of riches in auditions. Truly. So I mean, mm -hmm. that had to be a, a horrible sort of hard casting <sighs> process. Yeah, I, mean, I always you, feel you bad want a bunch for... of people, but it's yeah. like uh, could just the exact right amount of people show up, so I don't have to. Yeah. Ruin everyone. So day. true. <laughs> yeah, I think I only cried like two or three times oh, during the conversation. Oh, it means so much to me. I just get like really over, you know. Right. Well, yeah, and it's, it's important. You know, and, and with the show that you really want to be in, you know, it, mm -hmm. it means a great deal. And it, you know, and especially if everybody did a good job, and then it's just down to. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. this is my choice. You know. And did you have to yeah. pick musicians too? So, like your instruments. <sighs> Did you have to do Fortunately, that? Fortunately, I did not have to do that <sighs> because Whoa. I would be I would be really bad at that. So my music director um, has tons of fantastic people that he knows oh, and nice. he contacted. So we actually have like a full orchestra oh, for great. this show. That is like great. it's going to be incredible. That's great. Cool. Oh, I, see, and I love I love the live music better yes. than the other. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, I like the other, but I like. Yeah, the live that's music fine. But better. no, I I always enjoy the live. Yeah. Orchestra. 
Absolutely. Oh, Love how it. fun. It's going to be all it's going to be so much fun. Two weekends of of really fun. You're not going to be ready to to end it. I'm I'm thinking. So <laughs> No, probably That's not. When it's probably over. <laughs> it usually goes that way. Yeah. I'm going to sleep for like a week afterwards. Right. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, break all the legs, my friend. Um, and Thank uh, you. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we will be looking forward. Uh, we will be coming at some point. Yep. One of those weekends. Well, I can't wait to, to see, see you it. there. Yes, I will Yay. be there for sure. Huh. And uh, that is Into the Woods at Pace Chanticleer. March 10th through the 12th and the 17th through the 19th. Directed by our friend Mackenzie Zelke, who is here with us today. Thank you very much for talking with us. Oh, thanks for having me. This was really fun. Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, lived a young maiden, a sad young lad, and a childless baker with his wife. And so begins Into the Woods. You will be transported into a fairy tale like world, but a world where familiar characters and familiar stories don't always end in a happily ever after. Into the Woods runs March 10th through the 12th and the 17th through the 19th at Chanticleer Community Theater at the Potawatomi Arts, Culture, and Entertainment Center in the Hoff Family Arts and Culture Center in Council Bluffs, Iowa. For tickets and information, go to paceartsiowa.org. Thank you for listening and supporting the arts in the Platte River area and beyond. Please subscribe to our podcast so you are sure to catch all of our future episodes and join us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Music for this podcast was used with permission by Screaming Skull Productions. See you next time on the Platte River Bard.